The stock market has become very volatile. Are you feeling a little panicky? Is it different this time? Caution. What's in your portfolio? If you don't know, you should. If you want to know, we can help. Here's what's moving the markets and your money. I'm Charles Brown. It's Wednesday, February 28th, and this is CB3 on 3. It goes without saying that the 15 months since President Trump was elected were all positive months of performance in the stock market. And that 15 straight months is a stock market record. But here we are in late February and the market has changed. If you've looked at your accounts, I bet you already know that. So this month, we're going to look at four, four keys to understanding what you own. Your learning about and understanding these four keys can help you know what you own and it can help you prepare yourself for market ups and downs, also known as market volatility. Last week, we talked about key number three, understanding investment risk. This week, it's key number four, implementing risk management. In the stock market, there's a strong relationship between risk and return. Generally, the greater the risk, the greater the return. In financial terminology, risk management is the process of identifying and assessing the risk and then developing strategies to manage and minimizing that risk while maximizing your returns. Seems simple. Well, not quite. Here are three steps in creating risk management strategies for your investments. Number one, follow the trend of the market. This is one of the proven methods to minimize risk in a stock market. In other words, don't swim upstream with your money. The challenge, though, is that it's difficult to spot trends in the market and trends can quickly change. If you're managing your own portfolio, understanding trends is vitally important for you to study, understand, and implement. Number two, portfolio diversification. Another useful risk management strategy in the stock market is to diversify your risk by investing in different asset classes in your overall mix. In a portfolio, you diversify your investments with several companies, several sectors, and several asset classes. There's a probability that while the market value of certain investments increase, that the value of others may decrease. You want those offsets so your portfolio doesn't move all the way in one direction with market volatility. And number three, stop losses. Setting a stop loss is a strategy where you predetermine your theoretical risk of losing money should the stock go down in a free fall. In this strategy, you know the price at which you are willing to admit that the trade was a bad one. In other words, you're willing to admit you're wrong. You cut your losses if a certain stock falls below that specified limit. This can be a psychological challenge, but self-discipline is employed by those investors who know that when a stock hits a certain level, they need to be out. Limiting risk is therefore important in every aspect of stock market participation. I hope this four-part series on keys to understanding what you own has helped you in your understanding of your investments. And that's CB3 on 3 for Wednesday, February 28th. What's in your portfolio? If you don't know, you should. If you want to know, we can help. I'm Charles Brown, and at CB3 Financial Group, we don't just manage your assets, we become one of them.